some fascinating new data on how people consider themselves on the political scale. And this one in particular caught my eye. Let's put this up there on the screen. So a new morning consult study, specifically of Americans and drilling down into Hispanic voters, finds that Americans are less liberal than they were five years ago. And that shift is driven almost entirely by minorities. So here is liberal identification by racial group. Hispanic, 50 to 34%, minus 16 in a period of five years. Amongst blacks, 49% to 34, minus 15. Other, 40 to 29, minus 11. And even amongst whites, 31% to 25%. So this may not necessarily be that they are conservative, but the fact that nobody wants to identify as, quote, liberal anymore in the period of five years Perhaps reveals a lot, Crystal. I don't know what you think. To me, yeah. it just seems that it's incredibly cringe in order to do so. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't want to be called a liberal. Yeah, nobody does. Right? Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I look at that and I'm like, is You're none like, of yeah. the above an option? Yeah. Liberal? Very liberal? No. I mean, right. I guess, you know, people people would probably put me in the, like, very liberal category, I guess. But I don't want to be called a liberal either. So right. I did, there was some another poll that came out that I thought was really interesting that in some ways shows that, yeah, there's like a liberal, like that word has just become cringe and mm -hmm. has a major branding issue, which is there was a YouGov poll that showed the way people's views on issues were shifting. And for people who change their mind on different issues, on most of them, they move to the left. So on same-sex marriage, 68% mm. um, said they became more liberal versus 13%. This is of the people who said they changed their mind. On abortion, 50% said they became more liberal, 34% said more conservative. On the death penalty, 49% became more liberal versus 21%. Drug policy, 48 to 26. Healthcare, 43 to 34. Climate change, 38 to 31. Free speech was the only one that was basically tied, 35, 36. So it's like at the same time that people are eschewing the label, their actual positioning on at least a bunch of social issues um, plus healthcare they're telling pollsters if they changed their mind on it, they tended to move to the left on it. Yeah, I completely. It, it's it. That's why what these things mean don't mean anything. Like right, <laughs> right. left. Well, yeah, I, about, I've said it before. Even it's think like, about the word progressive. Yeah. How? Well, what does that mean? Back in 2016. Right. Well, that was different. It was yeah. like edgy to say you were progressive. Right. It meant a thing, you know, it meant sort of like not part of the corporate wing of the Democratic Party. Hillary Clinton was famously very sort of uncomfortable calling herself a progressive, but recognized she needed to say it in the Democratic primary because of Bernie. So she said she's like a progressive who likes to get things done. Mm -hmm. Now the word is has been completely co-opted by a bunch of like super corporate, terrible, <laughs> centrist Democrats. Um, and so now it's just become utterly meaningless. Like, I certainly don't identify as a per, I don't feel like that word applies to me anymore either. So um, it is interesting the way that these labels and what they mean and the connotation that they have in American politics shifts over time in a way that might be disconnected yep. from, you know, what people's actual issue positions and how they view the world. I'll is. give you another example, America First. You know, I probably took longer uh, than most, but I start, right after Trump was was elected, I was like, okay. I mean, he really caused me to reassess like everything. And I was like, you know what? Like, I believe in this. Like, I had these type of inclinations. I'm abandoning this ideology. Like, I believe in America first. And like, specifically as like an American nationalist, like the primacy of the American nation, which translate to a policy level about trade, immigration, and also in terms of our general orientation to the, like the global environment. Foreign policy. Guess yeah. what? They don't believe any of that right. when they say America <laughs> first, right? It's like, then they were like, America, Elise Stefanik is an American. And I'm like, well, oh, but she supported this and Afghanistan and didn't vote for this. And, and everyone's like, no, 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 that's not what it means. It just means to be with Trump. I'm like, wait, so being America first is just being aligned with Trump because I thought it was like a real thing. You right. know, so again, like I wouldn't, if somebody was today was like, sorry, I'd be like, no, I'm not identifying with a label that immediately somebody's like, oh, you know, like some Trump moron. And I mean that very much in the like, I imbibing anything Trump says completely uncritically. I'll be like, I'll tell you what I think if you ask me like issue by issue. Right. But any of these labels. I don't want to associate, I don't want to yeah, associate like, why would you myself want that? with what people think of this label anymore. It, it, exactly, exactly right. So look, labels are going away. Um, I actually think it's probably a good thing. Um, not in the way that the corporate people like to think, and most people should just think for themselves instead of like imbibing whatever, uh, whatever. They're like, here's what my, my person thinks, so I'm just gonna align myself on Right, this. the minute that you try to say like, 
my ideology is X, and therefore I'm gonna just try to figure out what I think about issues based on what I think that X yeah. means. That that can, or you feel like you have to represent that faction in a certain way, you're gonna end up twisting yourself into all sorts of intellectual knots right. versus coming from a place of like, these are my principles, these are my values, these are my goals. Let me individually assess each of these pieces to see whether they further those goals, whether they're in line with those principles and values. You're gonna end up in a much more honest place. Absolutely, okay. All right, love y'all, have more for you later. Cable news is ripping us apart, dividing the country, making it impossible to function as a society, and making it impossible to know just what is true and what is false. But the good news is they are failing and they know it. That is why we're building something new, a new mainstream, a healthier one, something more trustworthy, something that we are going to need in one of the most pivotal times in American history. We are building up here for the midterms, for the upcoming presidential election, but we need your help. So if you can help us out by becoming a premium member today at breakingpoints.com, we're trying to change America for the better and the entire world. So what are you waiting for, guys? Go to breakingpoints.com and sign up and help us build a new mainstream.